Midivani Monroe from MissFabulous.com reporting from New York Fashion Week. Designer and founder of Libertine, Johnson Hardick, creates his lines by finding vintage garments and then deconstructing and augmenting them with all manner of design from screen printing to dyeing and embellishment. A line favored by fashionistas, it is exciting each season to see what Johnson Hardick will come up with next, and his collection for spring 2012 is no exception. Before the show began, we braved the backstage chaos and spoke with the makeup and hair designers for a sneak peek at the direction of the show. We're in hair and makeup with Charlotte Willer, the makeup designer for the Libertine show, and we're going to find out a little bit about what your inspiration was for this. Well, the inspiration comes from the collection that's super graphic and has a 60s connotation. Okay. And I spoke with Johnson and with what he said, I basically said, well, you know, it's, maybe we should go towards a black eye that has covers the full lid and keep it super simple. So what happened is that it's a black smoky eye, super simple, nothing else is going on except for a lipstick that enhances the, lip, the natural lip color. So now we're with Noah Hatton, who has designed the hair for the Libertine show. Can you tell us a little bit about what your inspiration for the hair was? Yeah, the inspiration actually came from Johnson, the designer for Libertine. And he, uh, he wanted a girl that went out the night before, had her hair done the night before, slept, woke up, and did it all over again, but didn't fix her hair. So it's almost like a very 60s influence, like she had it really nice curled, and then the next morning, the waves loose. It's kind of messy, but we used a middle part instead of a side part to create more of a modern look, not so 60s. So we are with Johnson Hardig, the creative genius behind Libertine. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're very glad to meet with you. It was a gorgeous, gorgeous show. Oh. I loved all the very strong, strong graphics on this line. What brought you to this line with the strong graphics? What inspired you? This season was unlike any others in that I had a really clear idea early on. I had uh, discovered this cache of old um, pen and pen and um, ink drawings that I had done. So I started exploring and doodling with this brush and in India ink and came up with the, these, these graphics and thought that they'd translate well to the clothes. Now how were you able to achieve them on the garments? Well, well I had silk screen made yeah. of the graphics and just started playing around with ink and different colors and um, originally I thought that <clears throat> I would do colors but not as strong as last season but eventually it boiled down to black and white which I thought suited the graphics very well. So it showed a little bit of navy and white and also a little bit of gold, correct? Uh, a, a, a lot of pi paillettes, but I, but I, yeah, I always like, I always like um, a little bit of shimmer and glimmer. Um, yes, navy and white and a little bit of cream aside from um, the black and white. And did you choose that because you thought that that would make the graphics pop even more? Well, I chose that because I was finding a lot of really great cream clothes that um, I wanted to include, so it was dictated. Your line, um, obviously showing in New York, but you are based in Los Angeles. Yes, yeah. How do you think that living in Los Angeles affects your work as opposed to living in New York? I don't know. I mean, I imagine my clothes would be my clothes wherever I was. Um, I, know, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm particularly inspired by Los Angeles. So, okay. so it's hard, that's a hard question to answer. You also um, have uh, been in business now for 11 years. No, 10, 10 years. 10, 10 years, years this season, yeah. yeah. So 10 years, what brought you into the industry to begin with? 
My grandmother taught me how to sew a straight stitch on a 1950s Singer sewing machine when I was 16 years old. And that's really all I, all I know how to do to this day. Um, I would take vintage clothes. I've, I've always worn them since I was a teenager. And that I, I love the idea of having something that no one else did. And um, I just started by augmenting them. And, and basically, a buyer at a very great boutique, Maxfield in Los Angeles, saw something I was wearing, and it all began from there. As far as the silhouettes in this line, mm -hmm. what is, are they reference to any particular period? No, basically, you know, because of what I do, um, I just have to, I just, I basically just find clothes I love and figure out a way to make them work together. I, I, I don't go out looking for a particular silhouette or a particular garment. They, they find me and, uh, you know, my job is editing and putting them together in a, in a I think, beautiful way, hopefully. Well, because I, the reason I ask is because I kind of saw some 60s references in there, some 70s, and even going back to some even 1920s. There were there were a couple 1920s dresses, yeah. So it's yeah, it's hard. Uh, more 70s, I think, this season than I've ever done before. Uh, but I wasn't particularly feeling a real 70s emotion. It just it just worked just out that happen. way. Yeah, yeah. You've had quite a few major champions of your work, from Anna Wintour to Karl Lagerfeld, um, even John Galliano. How has that attention, that limelight, affected how you design? Uh, I don't think it's affected how I design. It's very flattering to, you know, have people like that um, have the clothes appeal. But uh, I don't know. I just, I just, just try to keep it real and uh, and. Does it, but I, I guess what I'm basically asking is, does, does it put more pressure on you? No, it doesn't put any more pressure on me. It just, it's, it's just basically fun. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's great to have people that appreciate the best, appreciate what I do. Showing off the creative playfulness that makes his line so unique, Johnson wanted to end the interview with a song. So, we hand it over the mic. Come fly with me, come fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in old Bombay. It's perfect for a flying honeymoon, they say. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Thank you. <laughs>